closer look at attaching a drill down sidebar to a report. In my drill down, I can see contextually as I click around my report, items purchased for the selected customer. I can rate my drill even further and see more information for that selected customer. As I go to my payment terms column, I see a different drill, credit rating column, a different drill again. So I'm going to show you how I did this, the under the hood version, as to how I've tied the sidebar to this particular report. To do that, I'm going to show you the sidebar as a presentation. I shall go back to my hub. And for my customer card, you can see I have an overview page. The page type is portrait. This is what you see in the sidebar. And when I drill up or drill through, I then see the dashboard pages, the full screen pages in the, in the pop-up. So how is this built? So if I come back to the overview page, I look at, uh, let's look at this balance. If I look at the filter of this balance, I can see uh, the data is coming from live transactions, my customer transactions table from Dynamics AX for a specific company where the customer account equals this filter called customer. If I go somewhere else, the customer name, I can see the same thing. The customer name is also being resolved based on a filter where the customer account equals a customer. If I go down uh, a bit further, let's look at my dashboard page, sales by quarter. This is now coming from my sales cube, customer invoice lines for a given company and yet again for a given customer. So this value here, customer, it's actually found in the parameter sheet. Here is what my customer is. I can change this, push enter, and my report will change as the filter has changed. What this implies is when I present this as a sidebar, this value called customer must be resolved or must exist on the host. So if it's from a spreadsheet, there must be something called customer on the spreadsheet. If it's from another presentation, then again, there must be something called customer in that presentation. So let's take a look at this. If I go into my credit management column, customer list, you can see that when I, the reason why this is attached is there's a column called customer and therefore the filter or the parameter can be resolved as the, as the host, in this case a desktop presentation contains a column called customer, then this is the value that is passing through to that parameter sheet. If I look at a different report, this, this too has a column called customer. That means that when I attach my customer card to this, it can be resolved as it knows how to, or where to find this value called customer. Even though if I look at the uh, data inspector behind this, the customer column uh, is actually customer.customer.customer is the underlying column name inside the cube. For my customer list report, this column here is called account num. So even though the underlying AOT names and cube names are different. Atlas is now using the column name presented as a way of mapping this. So in theory, what that means is if I rename a column, data inspector, if I rename customer to account num and refresh, then my drill uh, is essentially fixed. You notice our cave wholesalers is all that shows. And that's because if you think about that, if you go back to the parameter sheet of this presentation, it had defined a value called customer and it happened to equal 
US004. So if I actually had a look at that, bring this up, look at my parameter sheet, you'll see customer equals US004. And so therefore that's what's being used, no matter where I click. When I come back into here and rename customer and refresh, the filter can now be resolved and passed through from the parent. So this is a great way, so using the column headings is a good way of having data from different systems with, with different AOT names or metadata names still linking to the same uh, sidebars. From, my, from a spreadsheet perspective, it's very much the same thing. If I look at my sidebar, now this is a column called customer account, and if I try and add this, my customer card, then you notice it's, it's not contextual, and that's because the sidebar doesn't know how to resolve or cannot get from the host a value called customer. What I really need to do is, is edit my report, and I'll call this customer. Refresh. And now my report comes back to being contextual.